and all new right now here on the WHAS 1119. We are calling it Eclipse Monday, but for locally owned campgrounds across southern Indiana, it's really turning into their Derby Day, except this finish line is in the sky. WHAS 1119's Taylor Woods and photojournalist Elijah McKenzie are south of French Lick tonight. They've been talking to excited campers and business owners ready for the celestial dance between the moon and the sun. In less than four days, these tables will be full of families watching the Great American Eclipse at Patoka Pines RV Campground just south of downtown French Lick, Indiana. Everybody's just getting really ready for the influx of people and the traffic and but yeah, it's it's just going to be one big party. It's an exciting time for Angie Knockreiner and her husband Dale, who just opened last year. They are right in the path of Eclipse Gold, total darkness. And with only having 18 full hookup sites, we really didn't know what to expect until the eclipse came and now it's busier all the time. Spots are filling fast and families are already setting up like Joe Gutzweiler and his wife visiting from Indianapolis staying several days until the Monday eclipse. This one's actually open so I don't have to worry about trees or anything else. I have a great view of the sky. There's nothing to obstruct the view here. He's looking forward to the entertainment and activities offered by nearby French Lick. Just 15 minutes away is another sold out watch party and about 50 people are expected to be here at Sleeping Bear Retreat looking at the eclipse in the sky. They'll just kind of come in Friday and then Saturday and I think all of them's coming in on Sunday. Hank Watson is already prepared with special glasses for his guests. Each TP has four cots inside. These are poles that I go out in the woods and cut and bring back in. While it may be raining and sleeting now, he's hoping to see warmer weather Monday so he can enjoy the special view himself. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be taking pictures and entertaining myself. <laughs> All for three minutes of darkness in the afternoon. In French Lake, Taylor Woods, WHAS 1119 on your side. Now take a look at what we came across tonight. A data visualization from Air, D in Air DNA shows sky high occupancy rates for short term rentals in cities that are within the eclipse's path of totality. The map shows where people have booked short term rentals from places like Airbnb and VR Verbo the most. Now the dots in dark blue represent areas with 10% occupancy and the orange represents cities with 100% occupancy. Now on, take a look at this, we switched the map on April 7th, this is the day before the eclipse. <laughs> the map shows that large dark red stripe right through the eclipse's path of totality. <laughs>